Hello everyone, in this uh, video on cost behavior, we're going to be talking about the high-low method. In the high-low method, our objective is to take a mixed cost and separate it into its variable and fixed components, where so there are three steps really to this process. The first one will find a variable cost per unit, which is the slope of the cost line, and then we'll find the fixed cost, which is the vertical intercept. So if you think back to those graphs we looked at earlier in the previous video, you think about that vertical intercept where the mixed cost or total cost line hit the y-axis, that's where fixed costs are, and we'll create the cost equation. And this will allow us to figure out total cost at any production level. So the advantage of the high-low method is it's fairly easy to use, but it only uses two data points. So that's, a, that's really a disadvantage of the high-low method. So to talk about the high-low method, let's just jump right into an example here. So we're going to use the high-low method to determine flower power's cost equation for van operating cost. We're going, to re we're going to, then going to use those results to predict van operating cost at a volume of 16,000 miles. So Kara Wu, the owner of Flower Power, operates a local chain of floral shops. Each shop has its own delivery van. Instead of charging a flat delivery fee, Wu wants to set the delivery fee based on the distance driven to deliver the flowers. Wu wants to separate the fixed and variable portions of her van operating costs so that she has a better idea how delivery distance affects these costs. She has the following data from the past seven months. So we got January through July. We have our miles driven and our van operating cost. So an important part about the high-low method, and it's, it's like it sounds like, it. we're, we're going to pick the high and low point, but you have to be very, very careful that you pick the activity level, not the cost. Okay, so when we're talking about high-low, we want the high activity level and the low activity level. So in looking at this, if we look down these, uh, the activity, which is miles driven in this case, we see that February is the high, and we see that July is the low. So we have the low and the high points. So step one in the high-low process is to find the slope of the mixed cost line. Now, if you remember back from your algebra class, the slope is rise over run, or in this case, the change in cost, which is y, change in y, divided by the change in volume, which is x, or activity level. So the slope represents the variable cost per unit of activity. And we use the high-low high low levels of activity, like we said before, to figure out the slope of the line. So we're going to take this, we're going to take the change in cost, divided by the change in volume of these two points. So the change in cost, so we're looking at these two points here, the high and the low points. The cost at the high point was 5,700. The cost at the low point was 4,920. Now remember when I say high and low points, I'm talking about activity level, not necessarily cost, because they don't always correspond, divided by the change in volume of these two points. So the high volume was 17.5 and the low volume was 14.5. So when you do the math here, you should get 26 cent per mile, being my variable cost per unit or the slope of our cost line. Our second step in the process is to find the vertical intercept, which is also the fixed cost. So to do this, we know that our total costs are equal to our fixed cost plus our variable cost. And since I'm looking for fixed cost, I can rearrange my equation so that I get fixed cost on one side by itself. So fixed costs are equal to total cost minus variable cost. Now, to do this, we can pick either one of our two points. We can pick the high level or the low level. So we'll start with the high level. You can do either one. You should get the same, same result. So the cost, the total cost at the high point is $5,700 minus my total variable cost. Well, variable cost, we found our 26 cent per mile on the prior screen in step one, times the activity at the high level, which was 17,500, gives me a fixed cost of $1,150. So that's my fixed cost. Or you could do the low level. So at the low level, my cost were 49.20 
minus my variable cost, which are 26 cent per mile, and we have 14,500 miles at the low level, and we do the math, you should get 1,150. So notice they're the same answer. So it doesn't matter which one you do in step two, um, but you should get the same response there. Step three in the high-low method is to create and use the equation to show the behavior of a mixed cost. In this case, we're going to solve the total cost at 16,000 miles. So remember that the equation of a line is y equals mx plus b. m is the slope of the line, and b is the y-intercept, or the fixed cost. Okay, so when we write this in our equation, we have y equals 0.26, which is 26 cent per mile, plus that fixed cost that we found, which was 1150. So now we can predict the cost at 16,000 miles. So we've got 0.26 per mile. So in this case, we're predicting the cost at 16,000 miles, plus the fixed cost of 1150 gives me a predicted cost at 16,000 miles of $5,310. I hope you got a lot out of this video. Um, don't forget to check out my other videos. Also subscribe to my channel so that when I upload other videos, you'll be sure and get a notice that more videos have been uploaded.